it's so chilly. I know it's a joke because some of you guys are in Canada. But it's chilly for me. Like, look how chilly. Look at this dog. Look at this dog. He's just like... He already went outside and he was like, I'm chilly. I'm going to get back in this bed and get all cozy. Alright. I wish he liked me getting covering him. He hates it. My previous dog loved it. Luna loves it. I used to always like try to cover him and... I would have to do it like inch by inch and like never cover his face because if he noticed that you were like covering him he would like freak out. You said you're special. Special dog. You got so many quirks, right? <laughs> Everybody's sleepy. I'm sleepy too. It's freaking chilly. Hi guys. So, sorry I didn't ask get back on here before work. I was like, I wasn't running late, but I was enjoying putting my makeup on and just kind of taking my time and all that. And then before I knew it, it was, it was getting close to the time. So I went to um, get my hair toned, like just this bottom part, like not the purple part, to make it again a little more like ashier, a little more like grayish. Because if you guys notice, when I first get my hair done, it's like, you know, like a grayish green, whatever color. And then, obviously, as I wash it, like, just like with a blonde hair, it gets, like, brassier. So it pulls more to, like, the, the greenish, yellowy color. So I was asking, like, could I just get it toned? Because I know the toner is what made it the gray. And she was like, yeah, I can get this part retouched every four weeks. But toner, you can do it more often. So that's what I did. And then they have this new thing. It's from Redken. It's called Heat Cure. And it's like this treatment that they put it in your hair. And then they have this like tool. It looks like a, a flat iron, but it's not a flat iron. It's like a special tool for this that it applies heat onto the hair to make the, the like product sink in. And it's supposed to repair up to a year of damage. And it's supposed to last 10 washes. So, can I, I mean, I don't know if you guys can tell the difference, because you guys don't normally see my hair, like, nicely blow dry that often, because I suck at that. But, like, I can feel the difference. Like, it, I mean, it's not going to, like, change my ends that much, like a haircut would, but the overall, like, feeling of my hair just feels amazing. I know it's, like, a new thing with Redken, so I don't know if it's that widespread yet. So, I'm heading home, and I might try to film some stuff, even though I have tons of video to, like, edit. I might try to film a little bit because my hair looks nice and I like to take advantage of that. What are you guys doing today? My teeth feel a little sensitive today because I did a crest white strip last night. I suck at doing crest white strips. Like, I don't do them like you're supposed to like every day for a couple weeks or whatever. So I just do them like once in a while I do one or like I'll do like for a week. But that and like whitening toothpaste, that's all I use. I've never gotten my teeth professionally whitened. I've never had one of those at home like whitening kits. Everyone's hawking them on Instagram. Literally all I've done is cross white strips in my life. And I've never even done like the one hour express because I'm like terrified. Not terrified, but I just kind of like, I don't know, an hour's a long time to like not eat or drink in my world, which might sound ridiculous to some of you guys, but like, when I, I don't know. When, I can, when I'm not allowed to eat or drink, that's when I want to eat or drink all the time. I don't know if you guys are like that too. So I made way too much rice last night. So normally I just, you know, fill up on rice and pickles and then I just leave the pot there and then whatever rice is sitting in there, just by the time I like pay attention to it again, it's past its prime. But this time I was like, oh, there's a decent amount of rice left. I'm going to take it to work. Let me not like spend money buying food. I can just take some rice and pickles. And that's what I did. I took rice and pickles and I took some other little snacks and I didn't end up having to buy a lunch. I have to um, update Hugo's GoFundMe. It's like, I'm like behind on updates. Like, I think I have like maybe four invoices, three or four invoices that I need to like upload onto there. So I want like everyone that donated to be able to like see. I know like if they're watching my vlogs, they see obviously like he's getting the treatments and stuff, but people that don't watch my vlogs, they can be updated. Cause I think it updates all of the donors, I think, every time I make an update. So I'm going to try to do that tonight. My teeth are sensitive. Anywho. Anywho. 
One thing I figured out when I had Q go in the car, because I was going to open up the back windows. It's very dangerous to have your dog, like, hanging out the window. But since he's in the back, back part of the car, there's no windows that open there. But I can open up the back windows, and he can kind of, like, get some fresh air. So, like, he can't, um, like, jump out of the window or whatever. That's why it's dangerous. So I was trying to open the windows, and nothing was happening. I was pressing the button, and nothing was happening. I checked the child lock, and it was not on. And I checked this window, and it worked. And this window obviously works, so I've used it. I just don't ever really have people in my car, like, especially not in the back. So, like, when would I have ever needed to open up that back window? Like, never. I don't think it's ever been opened. Well, maybe, like, once. So I reached back, and this button works, like, on the actual back door. So, uh, what I've realized is that probably went after the car accident when they replaced this basically this whole side of my car they forgot to connect it and it's been so long that I highly doubt that they're they'll fix it even though it is their fault like I just never checked it just it's one of those things that like when you get your car repaired it just sucks because like the accident was not my fault <laughs> and you know my car will never be the same and I keep finding issues here and there and it's just because when I got my car back, I was happy it was like in one piece after what it had been through. And I didn't even think to check like all the little like levers and stuff. I just wanted to, to get my baby back and go home. I'm hoping that the next time I take it in for like servicing, maybe they'll, maybe it's like an easy fix, like just a little like connector thing. So stupid. What? Are you freaking kidding me? It works now. I swear I was pressing all the buttons. Oh dang, it won't go back up now. Oh no, I opened this button, it won't go back up now. <laughs> Damn it. Maybe that's gonna be a problem. Thank you very much. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you wanna keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me, or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos. You guys are running around. You guys are running around. So I just got back from my grandmother's house. I went there to eat. And now I'm going to just be editing. Probably while watching the news. See what kind of train wreck is going on today. I just don't even know. I clearly have an obsession with glitter. It's getting a little out of hand, this obsession. Just saying. Oh, my eyes itchy. So, uh, yeah. Finally finished my makeup. I had to take a little snack break somewhere in between. <laughs> and I took some photos. I don't know if I have the energy to film, especially as I have to edit this video, but I would like to get at least my January favorites filmed. I don't know how it's gonna go down. Tomorrow I have to be up super early to take my cousin to a doctor's appointment. Uh, some of you guys have asked in other vlogs and I've like responded to the comments in the other vlogs. A lot of you guys ask like, what am I taking my cousins to a doctor's appointments for? Why am I taking them and all of that? And respectfully they're not my kids so just like I can't show them on camera because they're not my kids it's not my place to say anything about anything so hopefully you guys understand that and I'm sure I'll still be asked that question every single time but I just thought I would address it in at least one vlog and I mean I could just like not ever mention it or whatever and just not include me driving my cousin at all but since it's like a big part of some of my days. I just felt like I should. Anywho, I think I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog so I can start editing it or film. I don't know what I'm gonna do first, but it's gonna happen. <laughs>